I'm gonna teach you how I made this GoPro quick edit the quick and easy way. Oh, oh my gosh, I got dolphins all around me. Beautiful Kaikoura. Seriously, how fun is that? Thank you so much to the team at Dolphin Encounter Kai Calder for taking me out on your tour the other day. My mind is blown. Right, let's get into this edit. Here we go. Kia ora, I'm Kyle or Bear Kiwi. I'm an official content creator at GoPro and part of their product testing and training teams. Now, I've been editing with the Quick App since it was first introduced to the GoPro family back in 2016. I'll be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of the app when it was first launched, but the team have worked their magic, and over the years, this app has now become one of my main go-to editing apps. So, I'm gonna show you and walk you through my entire process on how I created that video. Let's get into it. First, let's connect the GoPro and download the footage from the day's adventure. Right, we've got that downloading, but stick around. Throughout this video, I'm gonna share with you some insider tips and tricks, as well as how you can get paid to shoot for GoPro. Also, check out the official GoPro tips page. You might see a few cameos from me in there. Okay, footage is downloaded, let's get into it. Tap in the top right-hand corner and select the content that I wanna play with. We're then gonna push make and edit. Now, this is where the magic happens. Sometimes you don't even need to change anything. The video is automatically going to generate a beautiful GoPro quick edit for you. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to pick this apart and move the clips around. So let's dive in deep. First thing I want to do is pick a theme. The theme is the style of the video, the transitions, the mood of the video. So I'm going to go along and for this one, I'm going to pick launch. Next, we want to pick a tune. GoPro supplies a bunch of royalty free music in here. However, if there's a blue Thunderbolt icon next to it, it is part of the paid subscription and a GoPro original tune. And if I push this little blue icon on the right, it opens up a tower of music. Something that I love is the little thumbnails often depict the style of video I'm editing. Right, I'm gonna go with this one. Once you've picked your song, turn the volume on your device down. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin that song for you and everyone around you is gonna hate hearing that song on repeat. Next, I wanna pick the format. The format is where I want this video to end up. I know I'm making this for this YouTube video, so I'm going 16 by nine. Now, we're gonna go back to the timeline and work with the clips. In the very beginning, it gives you the option for a title, and we can change this to whatever we would like. Swimming with Dolphins in Kai Calder. Or if you're not a fan of the title, you can always just drag, drop, and delete. Drag, drop, and delete. It's as simple as that. Now we've got the rest of our clips sitting in the timeline. We can go through and have a play around with them. I'm gonna tap on the first clip here and the little pencil symbol opens up. Tapping that pencil symbol is now gonna open up my editing options. First thing we're gonna see is trim. We're gonna tap on trim now. First thing we're gonna notice is a bunch of these little blue lines along the bottom. They are automatic highlights. That is the quick app saying that is the best part of your video. Sometimes it's bang on, sometimes we wanna move that around. So, we're just gonna watch those little bits and see if they're right. Oh my gosh. Now, I know this is the intro that I want. I got dolphins all around me. So what I'm gonna do, tap the green part here and that'll open up this option. We can also turn off all these automatic highlights if we like, and then let's jump in and have a look at the next clip. Same thing again. So I'm gonna go through this whole process of trimming and picking the pieces of the video that I'm after. Oh my gosh, well, that's our outro right there. 
pretty much the highlights had that one bang on. That's incredible. Little tip, don't be afraid to trim away the fat. Delete some of those clips. I know it's hard, but let's just pick the best, right? Next little option that I wanna do is the volume. So with the intro, I was talking. So what I wanna do is mix the volume. So tap in volume, we're gonna select mix and give it the tick. Now, if I push the double tick, that'll apply to all clips. In this case, I only want it on that one, so I'm gonna give it one tick. Let's talk color grading. Now, we've got a couple of options here. I've got the filter option, or if we like, we can actually go through and adjust the color of the entire clip. I'm gonna click on here and have a little play around with this. Little tip, make sure the brightness on your device is fully up. Here we go. Now, please don't think, oh, hey, Kyle's doing this and that. Each clip might be completely different, and I never really know what I'm gonna go for until I'm done. But in this case, I'm gonna to apply to all clips. And let's see what that looks like. This one might be a bit blown out. I'll bring the highlights down. Put a bit of color in me there. Perfect. So those options that we've done there, we have trimmed the clip, we have color graded the clip, and we played around with volume. There are a bunch of other options in here, and if you like, comment below, and I'll make some videos on how to do those other options. But let's keep on going. Finally, what we're gonna do is pick the length of the video. Bunch of automatic options that are gonna pop up. The suggested length, perfect for Instagram, perfect for the beat, and another one perfect for the music. In this case, I'm gonna go with it suggested of 27 seconds. And then finally, what we're gonna do now is click save. Saving will automatically send that edit to my studio wall. But we're gonna tap this upward arrow and save to my device. Save photos. Little pro tip, don't tap continue straight away. Tap that little blue cog and a bunch of awesome options will show up. We wanna make sure we're exporting out at high quality and that it's compatible with more devices. Click continue, and like that, we now have a sweet GoPro quick edit. <laughs> I hope you found this tutorial helpful, but I did promise you I was gonna teach you how you can shoot and get paid by GoPro. It's as easy as this. Grab your camera, go out and have some fun. Then at the end of the day, upload to the quick app and submit to GoPro awards. You'll be featured on GoPro social channels, and if you make it to the global channel, they are paying up to $250 for raw photos or $500 for raw video. And if you're a GoPro subscriber, that fee is doubled. It's as easy as that. You don't have to be an extreme athlete or do anything crazy. Just go out and have some fun. Share your ordinary, because I guarantee your ordinary is someone else's extraordinary. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, tag me in your quick edits. I want to see what adventures you're up to. Check out my Instagram and see where I'm at. Throw me a like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Cheers, team. Ka kete. Thanks for watching. <laughs>